Hi friends, today I am here with another tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 10 or Windows 11 on your Raspberry Pi 4. So first for this purpose you will require obviously a Raspberry Pi 4. I I have a Raspberry Pi 4 2GB model with one heatsink. Um, you will need a drive that you're gonna install Windows 10 on. It can be a micro SD card. A USB flash drive, but what I'm gonna use and what I prefer is an SSD and with this with a 3.0 enclosure and You will need Windows PC To get this here's my laptop keyboard mouse and an external monitor and Now let's move to my laptop and to start installing it. All right, so I've told you about the SD cards and I want to so that they are laggy and very slow and I don't recommend using an SD card as a bootable drive. And now that's why I'm going to use an SSD as I said previously. And now we need to download the WOR Imager. We're going to go to its site. I'm going to le leave links for all of these I'm going to use in the description. I'm gonna download the latest version and and the numbers may be changed in the future and the time of this recording is 2.3.0 and now we have, we're gonna wait when it's downloading here is it I'm gonna move this to my desktop and now I'm gonna share how to get the Windows images. Now we have two sites, I'm gonna leave links for these in the description. Now we can we have different release type and from any of these we must select the ARM64 version. On the latest one, for example, I'm giving just examples to these. Now we select the language, we click next. So we select the editions, for example, Pro, we click next. We create the download package. Now I'm going to move it here. For this, you will need to extract it. You will need to extract the folder and run this as administrator. Now, like this. More info and click on run anyway. We click on yes. I'm gonna close because I already have an image. And from the other side, this is even easier. Select type, example final version. We select the version. You will need at least version 2004. This this is the minimum for Raspberry Pi 4. I'm gonna I use 20H2 for example. I'm gonna select that one. Make sure to have select ARM64. This is required. Select the language English. Select the edition. Windows and professional, select the type, download ISO compiler in one click. Click download it. Now click on the three dots. We click on keep, show more, keep anyway. For this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my downloads. I'm gonna move it to my desktop. We don't need the browser any longer. We we make a new folder. Example Windows 10 Pro ARM 20 H2, and we move it, and we run the file. We click on yes. And it's gonna start downloading 
this, it's gonna start downloading I'm gonna close this because I already have now I'm gonna also delete these files because I don't really need them I already have the ISO image here now what about the WOR now we're gonna extract this we click on extract And I forgot to say, make sure to turn off real-time protection while while the files are downloading and while the flashing. I have turned it off before filming this video. Now we're gonna open the folder. We find the wor.exe. Right-click and run it as administrator. Click on more info, click on run anyway, we click on yes, we close the folder, and here we are, and, and this wizard will help you easily install the full desktop version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 on your Raspberry Pi computer. I'm gonna show all the options in case you didn't, if this is the first time you're using it. Now click on next. Now, we select the drive, there is the 256 gigabyte SSD I'm going to use. I select Raspberry Pi 4 or 400. And now, it is warning if you want to boot your Raspberry Pi 4 or 400 from a USB drive or use a GPT partition scheme, the bootloader must be updated to the latest version. To do that, open the Raspberry Pi imager. I'm going to leave a link to, this, to it in the description. Now, once you're here, we're choosing go to Misc Utility Images, Boot Loader, and select SD Card Boot. And it says Boot from SD Card if available, otherwise, Boot from USB. That's how I need to do. Or USB Boot. We have Boot from USB if available, otherwise, Boot from SD Card or Network. Boot Boot from Network if SD Card Boot fails. I recommend selecting the SD card boot. We choose an SD card here. I got an SD SSD. I'm gonna flash it too, but I'm not. I'm gonna flash it. But you need to flash it to an SD card. I have tested with a USB drive once, and it didn't work. You so which means that it must be a micro SD card. And how, once you flashed it, you will need to insert the SD card in your Pi and power on the Pi and if you see that the green light on the Pi is clicking and leave it like that at least 10 seconds if you have plugged in an external monitor if you, if you see some a green screen that means that the bootloader has been successfully updated and you can turn off the Pi and now we're gonna click on OK. We click on Next. Now I'm gonna drag my my image. Where is it? It's six gigabytes, and it says your device supports Windows ARM 64 build 19041 or newer. I'm using 19042, so it won't make any issues. We click on Next. And and about drivers, we we need to be connected to Wi-Fi or Ethernet to use it for these two for the drivers and the UEFI firmware. I'm going to use the latest packages available on the server. It's going to download up the files and click on accept. Click on next. Select the UEFI firmware. Again, the latest firmware available on the server. We click next. There is nothing special to change here. We click next and there is the installation overview. We have the storage drive, the 256 gigabytes SSD, device type Raspberry Pi 4, operating system Windows 10 Pro build 19041.1586. I don't know, it's, there's a little issue. Instead of 19042, it's a, 19041 but it doesn't really matter that that doesn't change the version and build number 
image deploy on Windows Imaging, partition scheme GPT, make sure the drivers in UEFI phone path, no compression, and make sure to have backed up all the data from the target drive before it's too late. Once you click install, it's too late. And now we're gonna it's gonna format the target device, it's gonna create the partitions and flash it for us now sit back and relax while it's flashing and it might take some time depending on the performance but since this is an ssd it should work it should work fast i expect it will finish about in about five to ten minutes now wait till it flashes all right so the installation has completed it took me like seven minutes to get this done and now I'm gonna eject the drive and let's move to my desk and continue installing on the Pi. All right, so I've connected the keyboard and mouse and the SSD to my Pi. And now once you turn on the Pi, start pressing the escape button and now I'll go to device manager, select the Raspberry Pi configuration. Now we can overclock this to 2.2 gigahertz. We have advanced configuration. Well, since I have a 2 gigabyte model, uh, I don't have the feature to disable limiting the RAM to 3 gigabytes. And there is nothing really special else to change. I'm gonna continue. And I'm gonna wait to boot. All right, so we're in the oob, and we're gonna set it up and enjoy. Alright, so Windows has been installed successfully and we can also see the version and reaction speed is also fast everything is quick because it's SSD as I told you I finish it And everything is here, ready for us to use it. And enjoy Windows 10 and Raspberry Pi. For if this helped you, make sure to have liked this video, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.